and to be here to uh, honor Professor and his new book. His new book represents important research that expands the work that was done by Paul Ekman um, on facial recognition, in particular, the importance of understanding the smile across different cultures. This research is important for several reasons. First, we know that for many people in psychology, we've studied cognitive processes, the way we think. And recent research, and in fact, recent commentary by a psychologist who won the Nobel Prize in economics, Daniel Kahneman, he says, the future of psychology is studying emotion, not cognition. The reason being that we now know that emotion drives our behavior often much more than the way we think. Thinking is important. It's all linked together. And understanding how we express the emotions uh, that we have through our facial recognition and how those are different across different cultures is the wave of a future of psychology research. What it will help us in is many ways. One is it will help us with forensic science to try and understand uh, when people are telling the truth or when they're telling other stories. Uh, this research that Paul Ekman and the professor is using in, in engaging is helping to understand uh, cross-cultural differences in this terrible time of global war. Uh, it's also important in what we call forensic science to help people understand when they're telling the truth or not telling the truth to help us understand criminal behavior. And more importantly, the, the innovative work that the professor is doing is around understanding uh, facial expression and health. How people who have substance abuse disorders may be impacted by their, uh, their emotions and how that shows up. That will help us to better diagnose these problems and even perhaps treat them. It also helps us with understanding how different brain disorders are impacted and how that is expressed in facial expression. And the work that the professor is doing here is very important, what we call cutting edge research in the United States, uh, to help understand that and further that. Also, we know the world is a much smaller place, uh, and the global, in, the global collaborations that the professor is developing in, in getting scholars across the world, India, England, the United States, in working in this area is a, an important advancement uh, to understand how uh, the study of emotion in the face is uh, cross-cultural and the unique aspects that may be there, uh, again, based on culture, too. This is very important in this time of, of uh, the globalization of the world, and psychology's contribution to that uh, is clearly uh, shown by the work that the professor is doing. I encourage you to read the book. Uh, the book is uh, a very nice summary of the work, both in the past and for some future work that will be done uh, by this laboratory. Uh, the work that is being created in collaboration with other researchers uh, will help us further understand the biopsychosocial, the brain behavior emotions and relationships, and how that will impact uh, not only the uh, relationships across culture, but the health of people as well. So I thank you for having me here, and I appreciate the opportunity to be here, and I hope you will come to my talk later today uh, to, uh, to hear about some of my ideas about the future of psychology. Thank you. Ugly got